Have y'all ever used direct to film transfers or DTF transfers? Well, I have before and I usually get mine from Merch Studio and I had an order of 24 shirts and I was like, I'm not weeding all that vinyl. So for those of you who don't know what a direct to film transfer is, I'm about to show you right now. They do put the directions on the outside of the box and can we talk about the packaging? So I've actually been following Gerald. I believe he's the one that started and owns um, Merch Studio. For a long, long, long time, I learned about him from screen printer Mike on TikTok. And anyways, <laughs> let's see what we got here. So when you order direct to film transfers, they can be full color or they can be one color. Mine were like one color because I just needed white on red t-shirts and I'm gonna show you how to press them. And, and I didn't feel like weeding 24 shirts worth of vinyl because that's terrible, terrible, terrible. So. They come rolled up like this if you order a gang sheet. A gang sheet is where you can put a whole bunch of different images on one sheet. I do it in Adobe Illustrator. So not only are the directions on the box, there's also a nice sticker. I chose the hot peel, which means I can peel it like in five to 10 seconds after it's heat pressed. And then they also have cold peel ones where you have to wait and then peel it when it's cold and press it again. I like hot peel because I want to like Press it, peel it, done. Press it, peel it, press it, peel I don't want to wait for the cold peel. So anyways, this is what a game sheet looks like. Oh, I forgot. I forgot he was going to include... He messaged me. I was like, hey, can I have a copy of your logo so I can send you some gifts? And he sent me... Oh, this is so cute. Hold on. We're going to get to that. So basically, this e is on this paper and then I'm gonna cut it apart and I can press it on the t-shirt. It's permanent, it's great, it feels wonderful and I didn't have to weave any vinyl. I actually ordered a little bit extra because I had more room on the sheet. But look, he sent me um, some stuff for myself. So I'm gonna print these on some t-shirts or something maybe. I, I love this, thank you so much. Cheryl. So he printed some of my logo. I sent him my Ryan Can Make It logo, which is this channel and my creator account. And then for my small business is Instantly Unique Gifts, where I make handmade gifts. Uh, he printed some of those too, but he made me some big ones too. I did know he messaged me for my logo and my shirt size because he said he wanted to make me a shirt. And I said, okay, here's my Ryan Can Make It logo and my Instantly Unique Gifts logo. Just surprise me you know i'm gonna rock it either way so i gave my shirt size and let's see what he made me oh i love it so it has instantly unique gifts on the front and ryan can make it on the back it's the best of both worlds what is this hannah montana is that what that is but this is a direct to film transfer after you press it okay so what was on that sheet there i just showed you that's what this is. It's a great hand feel and you can stretch it. And it's not going nowhere. 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 So I can cut these apart and then heat press them onto my garments. You can also heat press them on a lot of other things like canvas tote bags. Um, I've done them on some organza bags. I have a little uh, TikTok video about that. Maybe I'll add that into a YouTube video. You can press them on a lot of things. Cotton, polyester blend, tons of stuff, full color, and no weeding vinyl. I will put Merch Studios uh, website in the comments. He has a gang sheet builder as well as a gang sheet upload feature. I don't really like the builders. I like to just go into Adobe Illustrator, make everything the size I want it, and then just upload the gang sheet. Like that's how I roll and that's how I've always rolled. But anyways, let's make stuff. At first I was using my HTV Raw Auto Press because I had just gotten it in the mail, but I tried a few sublimation items on it and I found that the pressure wasn't as strong as I had hoped it would be. And I was convinced that this press was the reason that the transfers were not coming off of the transfer sheet. However, I was wrong, but we're gonna go through it anyways. 
So I broke out my fancier studio clamshell heat press and that's been my tried and true. I love it and still use it to this day so I could add more pressure to it. And I was convinced at that point that that would solve all of my problems, but I was wrong. So I just want to say thank you, Gerald from Merch Studio, that you sent me extra transfers to try out. And I'm thankful for myself that I tried out the extra transfers on a blank shirt before I did it on my client's shirt. So what I was doing wrong is they're a hot peel transfer. And I just assumed, because I've used screen print transfers that were hot peel, that you just need to peel it off within the first couple seconds and all is good. But I was doing that, but I wasn't peeling it with enough like umps you gotta peel it like a band-aid like peel it off corner to corner really fast and not slow it has to be like a fast peel in my experience and the rest of them turned out great and i did like it so if you have not tried direct to film transfers and your vendor allows hot peel or cold peel transfers maybe you should try out cold peel transfers first because you can just let those cool down then peel it off and then press it again if you like this content please leave a comment below and let me know so i know what content to make for you all and as always i will reply to those comments and i would truly appreciate it if you click that subscribe button it means the world to me